Because if you're not on the path of Islam, if you're just out here doing whatever you want to do, drinking, smashing chicks, if that's all you're doing all day long, you think you're going to be answering that answer? You, you think you don't know the answer to that? You'll be pro pooping yourself too. Imagine dying in a nightclub. Imagine that. Imagine the last thing you see is some haram stuff in front of your eyes. What kind of, what kind of death is that? So my man Alex Trebek and billions of people in the world are going to go in their graves being unaware of these questions. And it is our job to teach them you understand? It is our job to teach them, not the other way around. It's us. We have to teach the people. I don't want people to be roasting in the hellfire. Why do you? Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today in this beautiful weather, but a not so beautiful topic. It's kind of like an eye-opening topic. Alex Trebek went from quizzing to getting quizzed in his grave. We're going to talk more about that. Uh, enjoy the video. Drop your comments, thoughts in the, in the, in the comment section below. And um, have fun with this. Make the offer your boy. Enjoy. Alex Trebek's final jeopardy in the grave. Now, my audience is a mix of multiple countries. Uh, America is top up there. Uh, UK is the top. Then it's Australia. Then it's Canada. And then some other places that I really, really love and adore as well. Um, but a lot of you might not know this reference. So I'm going to break this down exactly about who Alex Trebek is in case you just don't know who that is. If you're in America, then you would know, right? It's a very famous show called Jeopardy. It's a question show. It's a, it's a quiz show where uh, there's multiple topics worth multiple amounts of money. The more money, the tougher the questions get. And um, the question is presented to you in an answer form, and your job is to give the question that would answer that question, right? It's an answer, whatever, right? Uh, the point is this, it's a quiz show, <laughs> that's it. Alex Trebek was the host of this quiz, a quiz show, and it was extremely popular of a quiz show. Uh, a lot of people want money from it. it, it it's just a, it, it was a staple in culture. People know. Like Jeopardy was started a lot of other games as well too. And by the way, there is a Muslim Jeopardy video coming out very, very soon as well too. So stay tuned for that where people win real money. Real money. So if you're a Muslim out there, if there's a Muslim gathering somewhere, I'm going to be there quizzing you. So I might come to a town near you. Okay, inshallah. Uh, next, the iPad uh, quizzing strangers about Islam for an iPad part two video will be up inshallah um, on Sunday, November 15th, inshallah, it'll be up. So this Sunday coming up, inshallah, that video will be coming out. So let's get back to this. So Alex Trebek would question people, right? He would, he would answer questions back and forth. That was his job, job questions, okay? This man has just passed away and with all due condolences to their, to their loved ones. Um, you know, it's not easy, you know, irrespective of a person's Muslim or not, we, we understand that death is something that's really, you know, hurts every, every single person, irrespective of your religion. Uh, it goes beyond anything else, you know, like that's, a, that's one common ground that we all can understand that, uh, that losing someone is tough. Okay. So may Allah have mercy on the family and grant them patience and guidance, uh, before it's too late. Okay? And that's what this video is about. Before it's too late, man quizzed people, asked, you know, asked questions for a living. And now he's going to be asked some questions. Isn't that interesting? He went from being the host to now he's going to be quizzed. And he is completely unaware. Completely unaware. Do you think the day of judgment only applies to Muslims and then non-Muslims die and have a different reality? Uh-uh. What? Islam teaches you exactly what to expect next, exactly. And if you were unprepared, you got caught slipping. Islam doesn't want you to get caught slipping. Those out over here, you see people? You see people? Like I'm, in the, I'm, I'm starting to make my videos more out in the middle, right? That's what I'm planning on doing. Hey, beautifuls. My daughters are playing in the playground. Allahumma barak. <sighs> Quizzed people for a living, guys. Like, that's, man, that's what he did. These people... He's going to be asked some questions in the grave. This, this is the reality for all of mankind. All of mankind. We have, we have something and we can't be selfish. We got to give it to the people. We got to give it. We have the medicine, guys. We got to give it to the people. So, Alex Trebek now. Now Alex Trebek for, you know, final jeopardy. For what? What money, Alex Trebek? What money? No. What you waged is your hereafter. 
That's what you were waging. That's what we all are waging right now. Our hereafters, our akhirah. We're wagering that. Because in final jeopardy, you wager all the money that you have to see if you could answer the next question. Alex Trebek's going to be asked three questions in his grave. Just like we are. Is he prepared for those answers? Where could he have studied for that? Where? The Quran. That's where. But who was giving him da'wah? Did I know? Maybe someone did give him da'wah. I don't know. But for him to think that there was no son, I don't know. That's between them and Allah. But I will tell you this, that I don't know how prepared he is for those questions. I don't even know how prepared I am. be honest with you. A lot of people think that they just know what the questions are. They'll be able to answer them. Oh, the, the angels are going to come to you. Just be like, I got this, bro. You can't cheat. You can't write it on your hands. You're going to be like, I don't know. You might be cropping yourself. Who knows? If you're a mu'min, you won't be. If you're a mu'min, you'll have that confidence. So you'll know that when they ask you the three questions, what are those three questions ask you? What are those three questions? Some of you know it already, right? Type them in the comment section below before I say them. Okay, let's see if you get them right. Okay, pause the video and type them. Okay. First question is, what is your religion? What is your religion? For us, it's Islam. It's simple. You know what the answer is for them? Islam. It's not Christianity. It's not Judaism. It's not Hinduism. It's Islam. The Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, get this through your heads, was the last and final messenger. He is the messenger for all of mankind. Today. Today. If a Jewish person died at the time of Musa alayhi salam, his answers would look a little different from us. But one part of them. The others would be absolutely true. Two out of three would be exactly the same for the Muslim right now. And they would be missing one of them, and you'll see right now. So, Alex Trebek, what are you going to say, Alex Trebek? I don't know, it's too late for him to answer. He's already answering them right now. He's already in the process right now. What is your, what, what is your religion? What's your deen? Next, I'm not saying it in any order. I'm just saying it as it comes to my head. Who is your Lord? Who is your Lord? Who is your Lord? Damn, that's a tough question. It's a tough question for even Muslims to ask. It's a tough question for even Muslims to answer. It is, right? Because if you're not on the path of Islam, if you're just out here doing whatever you want to do, drinking, smashing chicks, if that's all you're doing all day long, you think you're going to be answering that answer? You, you think you don't know the answer? That you'll be pro pooping yourself too. Imagine dying in a nightclub. Imagine that. Imagine the last thing you see is some haram stuff in front of your eyes. What kind of, what kind of death is that? May Allah have mercy on us all, man. Y'all don't think that far. You guys are thinking like right now in the moment. What if you died in the condition that you're doing something that's displeasing to Allah? Gotta think of that. Okay. What's your deen? What's your way of life? Huh? Not the YouTube channel. You can't say it me. Uh, in me. No. No, 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 no. You gotta be able to answer that yourself. In the grave. Alex Trebek is having to answer that right now. He went from quizzing people to being quizzed. SubhanAllah. That's what happened to him. Because that's the reality. So, let's go. What's your way of life? What's your deen? Who's your Lord? And who is your messenger? And that answer for everyone is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is the messenger. And that's the one where it would have changed for other people. So if someone died at the time of Musa alayhi salam, what's the deen? Islam. Islam is the deen always. Right? Who is your Lord? Allah. Allah has always been your master. Always. Who's your... Who's your messenger? Musa alayhi salam. Make sense? People who are Christians, who are Jews right now, it doesn't even apply. They're not even supposed to be Christians or Jews. They're supposed to be Muslims. Now, this doesn't mean that we go and say that, oh, Christians and Jews cannot be alive. It's, that's not what I'm saying. It's that the book, the Quran, is the final revelation. It's like the final installment in their books, right? So, for example, J the Jewish people had an installment of the book. Then the Christian had an installment of the book. So they're, now they're reading the revised, uh, you know, updated version of the book. The final installment is the Quran. It clarifies all the disputes that they have amongst each other. The Quran is the pure version of their faith. The, the, the version that Isa al -Islam brought, that Musa al -Islam brought. That's what the Quran confirms and it is. But that's the thing. The average public person doesn't want you to know these things. They don't. So my man Alex Trebek and billions of people in the world are going to go in their graves being unaware of these questions. And it is our job to teach them. You understand? It is our job to teach them, not the other way around. It's us. We have to teach the people. I don't want people to be roasting in the hellfire. Why do you? 
You want that? You don't want that. You don't want that. That's not good for you. You don't want, you don't want people to be roasting in a hellfire, bro. You want to make sure that people are, are in paradise with you. There's colleagues that you have that are good people, classmates that you have that are good people. They should be in paradise with you. Talk to them about Islam. Become friends for the sake of Allah with the intention to be a good friend to them so they could be like, wow, this person is just the best friend I've ever had in my life. What makes them so special? It's your ikhlaq, it's your deen, it's Islam. That's dawah. We're doing dawah all day long. Now, after that, when Alex Trebek is, went from quizzing to being quizzed, subhanAllah, went from quizzing to being quizzed now. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. So now, Alex Trebek is raised up from his grave. And by the way, once you answer those questions incorrectly, you don't even want to know what happens after that, right? Like, your grave experience is basically a preview of what's to come later on. So if your grave experience is good, that means what's to come later on will be good as well, inshallah. But if your grave experience is bad, ooh, you're in for a nightmare. You're in for a nightmare for the rest of eternity, bro. Like, it's scary. You don't want that for people. Then Alex Trebek is going to be questioned about five things. And his feet, all of our feet will not be able to move until he answers those five things. My challenge for you and your homework is, I should be giving you guys homework at the end of every, every video. Mashallah, what do you guys think? Yeah? Okay, I'm going to give you guys some homework. Um, your homework should tell me what are those five things. Do some research about them. Figure them out. What are they? Type them in the comment section below. And let's have a discussion down there. I, I read and respond to every single comment. Not because I'm amazing even though you already know. But it's because I love you guys. I, it brings me joy to respond to you guys and communicate with you guys. So remember, iPad Part 2 video is coming out uh, Sunday, November 15th. Be ready for that. I have that for a dollar video coming out too. Remember that for a dollar video? You haven't seen that? Go check that out as well to the quiz. I have another one of those. I think those are fun. Those are going to come out soon too. Uh, but other than that, check out some other videos. If not, don't check them out too. It's cool. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, thank you for watching this. I hope that you gain some benefit. And I hope that this uh, really woke all of us up it's waking me up i'm gonna play some basketball shoot some hoops and then be on with my day check out the fit though check out the fit got some samosa socks from a company that i won't mention because they're not sponsoring my videos i, do, I love you you should support me with some businesses but uh you gotta sponsor your boys videos bro i'm trying to give out these ipads i'm trying to give a playstation 5 make dua for me guys make dua that i can get my hands on the ps5 and the xbox please 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 make dua for me i need your dua I need you to ask. May Allah bless you guys. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.